What's our radius on number one? Nine. No, well, no that's our diameter. Diameter is nine. Diameter's nine? Okay. So if the diameter is nine, what is your radius? 4.5. All right. So to find the area, area of a circle, because we want to find the volume, right? What's our formula for volume of a cylinder? Area of the base is times uh, the height. So area of the base times the height. So the area of this base is going to be pi r squared. So it's going to be equal to 4.5 squared times pi. All right, remember our quick trick for multiplying numbers that end in 5? Mm -hmm. So 4 times 5 is 20.25. So 20.25 pi times, what was our height? 11. Times 11. Go ahead and multiply those two out. Why can you multiply those? Oh, remember, it's when adding like terms, you have to have the same uh, variable or the same uh, unit, but we're just multiplying. You can multiply across. We could even multiply through by 3.14, but I don't like to do that. I like to leave it in terms of pi. I thought they both left it in terms of pi. They do. So 222.75 pi. So that's going to give us the volume. So we want the area. So Plus area of, you know, we'll call this rectangular body. Rectangle. We're going to take this part off too. Okay, so remember if you're to open up the cylinder, you get a rectangle, right? Right. And this part here. That part here would be what? The circumference. The circumference, right. That's going to be the circumference. And that's 11. Okay, so how do I find circumference? 2 pi r, so 9 pi, right? So the circumference is 9 pi. So that's 9 pi. So if I want to find the area of this, it would be 99 pi. 99 pi. 9 times 11. Okay, so 99 pi. Now we just need to add the area of the two bases. We already saw for the area of the base uh, for the first problem, right? So uh, what was that? 20.25 pi? So 40.5 pi? Where did you get 99 pi? 